The purpose of this example is to showcase how Remcom's tools can work together to handle the design process beginning with prototyping the antenna all the way to simulations of that antenna on a platform in a real city. The term platform refers to anything an antenna can be mounted on, from an antenna on a tower to antenna on top of a vehicle. The following example will show the construction and simulation of a quarter wave monopole on the roof of a sedan. The vehicle model has already been imported into the XFDTD workspace. We're going to go ahead and create a wire body and specify its origin by dragging our center point to the desired location. We can freely drag our center location by simply clicking on these arrows and dragging them. We can then rotate around the model to fine tune the location of our starting point. Now that we have the correct origin, we're going to go ahead and extrude our monopole by clicking on its endpoints and extruding a wire body. Now that the antenna has been extruded, we can rotate the model freely to look at it from several different angles. This ensures that we've actually placed the antenna on the roof and not out in free space. Now we can also zoom in we're going to place a port there. The port will hold the excitation for the antenna. Creating a port is as easy as clicking on the two endpoints you want and snapping it to the wire we extruded earlier. Now that we have our port, we have to define our excitation. We're going to drag and drop a 50 ohm voltage source onto the component port we just found. From there, we're going to drag a material onto our wire body to define its material properties. Now let's examine the mesh. We can actually look at the different cut planes within our mesh to see how complicated our model actually is. Moving up in the Z-plane, you can start to see the tires, the seats, the headlights, and even the glass from the windshield. Doing the same thing in the YZ-plane, you can see the same details from the side, and you'll even see the steering wheel included in the model. All these details will go into the final simulation. Now that we've looked at our mesh, we see that the model is complete and ready to analyze. We're going to go ahead and run the simulation. It should take about 10 minutes to run on XFDTD's GPU acceleration. The resulting far field pattern is now displayed. As you can see, we can again rotate freely around the model to examine all the details of the pattern. Now that we've done a full simulation of our antenna, we can import our results into a full city using Wireless Insight. The file will be exported as a UAN file to be opened in Wireless Insight. Now switch to the Wireless Insight console. We're going to show you that within a few clicks, you can import the antenna that we just exported from XFDTD and put it into a full 3D city. Right now we're going to import the pattern, and we're going to show a full 3D representation of that pattern within the Wireless Insight console. We can freely rotate this pattern from different angles to make sure that we imported the right pattern. We're switching the project view now to see the model that's already been imported into Wireless Insight. It's a model of downtown Chicago. Switching to perspective view, we can actually get a view of everything that's immediately around our antenna, and you can also see our antenna pattern from our sedan. Now we're going to look at the results from our previously run simulation. We populated the streets of Chicago with a grid of antennas to show how much energy comes off of our transmitter on top of our sedan. Switching to a bird's eye view of the city, we can see how much energy propagates throughout Chicago's streets. The dark blue and purple in color is the least amount of energy, and the dark red is the most amount of energy. And as before, we can switch back to perspective view to show all the energy directly surrounding the antenna. This example combined two of Remcom's tools, XFDTD and Wireless Insight, to show a complete design process for an antenna. A quarter wave monopole was simulated on top of a car via XFDTD. The far field pattern from this run was exported into Wireless Insight as a UAN file. From there, Wireless Insight simulated the antenna in a real world simulation in downtown Chicago. Using these tools together allows the designer the complete freedom to design any antenna they want in XFDTD, then take that design and fully evaluate it in a real world environment using Wireless Insight. For more information on XFDTD, Wireless Insight, and other Remcom software calls toll-free at 888-7-REMCOM. 
International callers, please dial 1-814-861-1299. You can also send us an email at sales at remcom.com.